Can I get a ham egg and cheese on an English muffin? A chocolate glazed donut, coffee, what is it? Coffee cake muffin, I think. Okay, anything else? And that's all. Donut and a coffee cake muffin. Sounds good. 7.46. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Outside. Approximately 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Very clear skies, very blue, very beautiful, very pleasant, very aesthetic. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Gotta be a mess. It's coffee cake muffins. I know what you're probably thinking. That thing you're probably thinking like, damn, Luke, that's so unhealthy. I make that McDonald's. Might as well have McDonald's. Dunkin' Donuts, ham, egg, and cheese, chocolate glazed donut, coffee cake muffin. I'm um I'm very excited for this. Um, I know most of y'all thinking I'm crazy right now that I'm eating this type of shit, dude. But th to be honest with y'all, I eat this shit like like a, a short term out of the year. Most of the time, I I, I don't tell my I, I tell myself I'm not allowed to have that shit when I'm like usually um trying to cut down a little bit. I'm gonna eat whatever I want, but I don't I try to stay away from the the hard hard sweets like brownies, cookies, donuts, just cause it's like why you don't really need that shit. But now since I'm bulking pretty heavy, I'm pretty thick right now. I'm like yo, I can eat that shit. It doesn't really matter. So that's that's my mentality right now. Okay, we had the diet and derail to make sure we're staying somewhat lean and uh I'm sweating. Whenever I'm like in the car and like doing shit, I get really hot and sweaty. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I think it's time to eat, guys. So I'm gonna have to shut up and you're gonna let me. You're gonna have to go to business right now, okay? I have to go to work on this shit. All right, finished my food, and I just been going through a weird phase where I just have not been eating my uh normal my normal breakfast. I used to have like scrambled eggs, English muffin. Um, sometimes I'd have oatmeal with the with the banana, and I I haven't shown my breakfast in a minute, but like I that's what I was eating for so long. And then before that, I was eating eggs with waffles, and I was always I was always in the mood for that stuff. And then I went through a weird phase where I was just eating like I would have a protein shake and cereal because my appetite was absolute shit. Like I, I woke up. And I was not able, like I had like no appetite for anything. I never wanted like to make the eggs and the English muffin you think just sounded so like unappetizing anymore. So um, it was weird. And then I just always been in the mood for like Dunkin' Donuts lately. And it, ah, it's bad, man. It's bad. I don't feel good about it. I'm guilty. I feel so guilty. And I feel like a bloated, a bloated bag of shit. I swear to God, I just ate, I ate like half the muffin, the full, the full glazed donut, the, the English muffin, ham, egg, and cheese. Ham, egg, and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Ooh, it was good though. It was good, but I don't know. And now my stomach's all messed up, and I, this is bad, man. I'm bad. It's bad. It's not good. The diet shit right now. Like I said, it doesn't really matter, but it's just so weird. For something I was so I was so hooked on for so long, and I just lost the love. It's almost like sad. It's almost like it's pretty emotional. It's weird. Hopefully, I can get back into that. Otherwise, I'm never gonna be able to cut weight, and I'm always gonna look like a fluff ball. <sighs> just pray for me. That's all I can ask. I know you guys are there for me. All right, I'm just gonna shut up. Till the next clip. Mm. I was over here sipping my pre-workout. We're almost done. Oh shit, look at that. I just posted an assassin video review. We did trash. Uh, I got demonetized for a reason. I don't even know why. Whenever my videos get demonetized, it usually just means it gets no views. No one notices it. And it's kind of annoying. But yo, look at that shit. Sipping on the pre, you know, you already know. It's like 6 o'clock. Uh, we had a lot of downtime. Wasn't really doing a whole lot. Uh, look at this shit. Dark outside. You can see myself. Oh shit, looking swole. But um, either way... 
Oh, my lips are getting dry. Either way, what's up, dudes? Yo, it's funny because I haven't really vlogged the like, one-on-one -on -one in a minute, and I've been live streaming a lot, and that's kind of my thing right now. And I get, I'm, we're, we're getting a lot of, we're getting some people that are getting really interested in it. So if you guys are like, you're usually clicking on the videos and just seeing what I'm doing, and then you go up, drop a like, not, not the type that really comment or anything. You kind of just skim through maybe. And maybe the videos are boring. Maybe they are. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm here in my house, kind of alone. Like it's not a lot of things to do. I don't really have a lot of friends in South Carolina. But if you guys don't have friends either, you can come and join the live streams on my YouTube channel. That's where I live stream. Not on Twitch. Not on Twitch because I have no following on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? So we come in. It's positive, organic vibes. It's just it's just an experience. It's fun. I'm trying to figure out how to use OBS. If you know what OBS is, you know what it is. If you don't, then you just don't. Uh, basically, so I can share my screen and my face. I um I hope that's good that you want to see my face so so we can interact and watch videos or react to videos. Uh, listen to music, shit. This vibe is fun. Answer questions. Um, yeah. So what you're gonna have to do do for me is. Click that uh, the notification bell because this way you'll know when I go live and you can experience it for the first time Because I know for a fact that every single person in here has seen one of my live streams, especially live. It's pretty lit It's pretty lit. I'll say it's pretty lit <laughs> This camera isn't lit. I shit you not though. This shit's so good Every single, I'm like excited to take this pre-workout. Sometimes I mix it in. Sometimes I just take it straight to the dome and then let it sit and simmer through my body and let it digest. And then this comes out. I'm like a monster. It just gets you in a really good mood and a really a positive mood to work out. And you just want to stay in the gym, lift heavy ass weight, blah, blah, blah. It's great. I did a review. I did a quick edit. It's my last video. Go check it out. But like I said, notification bell. I live stream now and it's fun. It's organic. If you're not into it, then you're not into it. Either way, I just hope you'll love me. But um, on another note, yo, uh, recently... I'm watching a YouTube video right now as I'm chilling. I'm looking at a new camera. Speaking of shitty cameras, but this is not a shitty, shitty, shitty camera. This is the um, EOS 50 M50 uh, Canon. It's pretty simple, ba very basic, not too, too expensive for a camera, especially YouTubers. YouTubers buy like $3,000 cameras, which that's just out of the budget, man. Way out of the budget. This one is a good price. Um, it's like it's like the same size as the camera I'm um, using right now. It's a little bit bulkier. Uh, you can change the lenses, stuff like that. I'm not too, I'm not too into like cameras and shit, so I don't know everything about it. That's why this is another reason why I wouldn't want to spend too, too much on a camera. But the point is that I might be doing it soon, and that'd be better, clear, more fun content. It'll just motivate me to pick up the camera. Cause I'm so tired of this. I'm so sick and tired of this camera. The lens is dirty. Uh, it just, it, it the the. It's just not wide angled. So if I were to like want to get my whole body, you'd have to see me like stress out look like a weirdo and even then it just doesn't really capture a lot you know what i'm saying this way i can get better pictures for the gram better clear shots just like it'd be more motivating to want to pick up the camera i'm just so tired of like using the g7x it's just getting old man it's just getting old so we're looking at that it's the canon mirrorless camera body eos m50 nothing crazy shoots 4k not really that good apparently but uh yeah rambling a lot running my mouth really quick because i just drink the pre-workout drink the pre-workout but yeah, let me know if you guys are in the cameras and stuff. Let me know if that's like a good camera or you've, you've had it before. I've looked up a, a couple videos and I've, I've got no like super negative reviews. It's actually really good for vlogging because it's nice and small. It's light. 1080p is really good. Uh, shoots a uh, good 720 slow-mo. I'm trying to get into it. I'm trying to like learn a bit, a little bit more about cameras. But I feel like for the money, for the money and what I really do, at the end of the day, I think it's like one of the best buys I probably can get that's like under a thousand bucks. This way... Um, if I don't want to spend too much money on the camera, I can get more lenses in the future, this and that, and get clearer zoomer sh zoomed in shots and whatever, dude. I don't know why I just did that. It's kind of a uh, kind of weird. I'm gonna stop the I'm gonna stop the clip right there at, on that note. But yeah, let me know if you guys know anything about that camera. I think I've, I think I think that's gonna be the next move in the next uh, few months. So stay tuned. All right, baby, we're in the gym. We made it to the gym, we're hyped, dude. We got Mo Mamba, Mo Bamba, whatever the hell this stupid song is called. Smell. Like. All right, so on a real note, just warming up, you got the compressions on. You can see how thick that is, look how thick that is. Shit, so it's hot as hell. It's like 66 today and the entire house is like on fire, it feels like. I literally had to shut off one of the heaters early and like I, it's like mid-December. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. South Carolina is mad weird. Sometimes it's like 70 for no reason. Then it drops back down to like 40. So it's like, all right, just warmed up. Foam roller. Oh my God, look at that powerful ass kick. Then we're moving over here. Boom. We hit some leg and uh, hamstring curls. So we're getting the blood flowing in the legs before we hit some squats because it's going to be... 
we're gonna be hitting squats. But as you guys know, if you guys have been following it, I was doing squats twice a week. I cut back down to once a week. It was just putting way too much of a toll on my knees and the strength progress kind of like, that it minimized a lot because I was just getting so beat up. Uh, mostly, like I said, my knees. So boring shit, blah, I'm not gonna really bore you with that. We'll warm up to a decent weight, see what we can do today. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling hype. Like I said, we got the compressions on. It is, look at this shit. Boom, boom, look at that. Boom, hold up. Oh yeah, okay. That's enough of that. I oh, was getting to the workout. <laughs> ah. Ah. Just warmed up 405, skipped the boring shit, 315, 405, you get it, I was warming up. But I've done some weird, unfocused things today. I'm like, kind of like, I'm off. Like, I feel great, I feel pretty strong. I'm kind of worried about my knees. I haven't squatted in a week. Um, I was so used to squatting twice a week. But i just been doing weird shit. I walked into the gym, shut off a light that was already on. I thought I was turning it on, I shut it off. I went to the wrong light to turn on when it was this light I was supposed to turn on. I was warming up when I did 315. I I took I took off the clamp and then put the weight back and it was 225 and I was like, wait, I have to go up to 405. So I, everything's weird. My brain is like, I don't know. I just did 405 but a warm up felt pretty good. And now this is the thing, since I don't follow a program or anything like that, you're probably wondering like, what, what, how do you know what weight you're gonna go up to next? Like for your max weight, your main lift, your top set for the day, Luke. Like what's, what's the process going on in your head? Um, it's basically of how I feel. That's why I didn't really film my 315 or 405 because those are really important sets, uh, the warm up with. Warm ups are honestly very crucial and you have to actually be like, they're just as serious as your top set to be honest. Like if you're not focused up, they're gonna, they're gonna mess with your head. If you make those weight feel heavy, then you're gonna be like, damn, I'm weak today. But I had to focus up, hit 315, super easy, super light, good, 405, felt really good. Now it's the time where I'm trying to think of like, okay, what's my top set? Because no matter what, how it feels, I'm just gonna you know, go ape shit, you know, it doesn't really matter, it's my top set. So I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, my knees still a little achy, not as bad as they were in the past. Four or five felt pretty good. Current PRs are pretty heavy right now, so I might just go, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go aim for something pretty heavy today, maybe five plates. Maybe five plates, see how it feels. I haven't been up there in a while, and I definitely wanna test my strike with that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I feel like a lot of you guys like more informational videos, especially like stuff I don't really mention a lot, because I honestly just think it's really boring. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Just, just tossed around four or five. I think we're gonna go five plates. Let's get it, baby. Oh. Okay, buddy. <laughs> oh! oh, I miss you. Don't hurt me, all right? Thank you. Let's just make this nice and easy, all right, buddy? All right, so one, the one tip I'm gonna get for today, before you go for your main max set, whether it's in your ears or on a speaker, make sure you secure the most badass, intense, or just good vibe, high intense song. Um, so you just get into it, man. Um, and that's all I have, that's all I have. I gotta get into it before I get out of it, you know what I mean? Don't wanna take too long between each set and your max, cause then you're gonna be like slouching and shit. You don't want that, you don't want that. So good vibe, this, I think that is a good vibe song. After five reps, I don't know what the form look like. I know you guys are, you'll be all over that, but feels good, felt light, felt good. Whew, 495 for five. That's good for today. <laughs>
for you. Is that low enough? That's the lowest I can go, I swear. All right, so I dropped it down, 425. Three sets of six, that was my second set. We're hitting depth. We're hitting as low as I can go. Well, as low as I'm comfortable with. That's as far as low as I'm gonna go. If you wanna criticize me and unfollow me and unsubscribe because my form is shit, then go for it. But either way, we still are tossing around that weight, baby, so let's keep going. Actually, that's probably gonna be the last thing I pretty much record in here. So. I'm gonna end the video off with a little bit of a physique update. I haven't done one of these in a while. I really have showed my body on video in a minute. This is good. This is this is very very good lighting for the most part. But lean forward, I even look more jacked. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Set it on the camera. We'll set it down. See, I just get him to do just a bit. Here's the legs, dogs. Here's the what's up. Here's the legs. This is not as good as lighting, but here we go. Get the gist. A little bit of glutes. There you go. Boom. Upper body. See this cameraman? I need a new one. It's not wide enough. I'm always having to adjust. It's very frustrating, to be honest. I need it right here. No upper body pump. Absolutely no upper body pump. Okay. Alright, haven't done a physique update in a minute. That's about what my body's looking like. Pretty fluffy. Uh, some of the lighting was good, some of it was okay. Sapar. Like I said, no upper body pump. We're obviously looking a bit thick and pale. If I had a tan, I guarantee the definition would look as if I was cutting or something. Tanning makes a huge difference. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of that. That was a quick physique update. I never really do those. Sometimes I just do it. I never really say I'm doing it, but that was directly for physique update. Hope you guys. I mean, that's gonna be mostly the video. I talked a lot, ran a lot. This is an update video on what's been going on. I've been live streaming, so make sure to use the post notification bells so you know I'm live. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, check out all the recent ones. Apollon's new formula of assassin. If you guys are interested in really, really, like, I seriously, no bullshit, kick ass, like, badass. Just kind of give you the edge type pre workout. If you guys have been looking around and searching around for some and you really can't find it, dude, I swear to God, assassin, no bullshit. It, it, it got me through this workout really good. 500 for a set of five, and then I back down to 425 for three sets of six. Ask the grass, or well, ask the grass in my perspective for what, like, I feel. And uh, honestly, it pushes me through a lot of heavy workouts, and it's just super, it's super intense. So if you guys are really interested, Paul and Nutrition, man, uh, go check it out. Otherwise, guys, that's it. We thick, we swole. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay hyped, stay happy, and I'll see you guys in the next one, baby. Um